supporters. One Newcastle fan had emergency treatment after being stabbed twice. And although police arrested 92 Millwall fans, mostly on public order charges, they haven't caught the people who hurt him. The incident happened on Saturday night at the Woodall services on the M1 near Worksop. Apparently, by coincidence, both clubs stopped at the services on opposite sides of the motorway as they travelled back from away matches. A group of Millwall fans used a pedestrian bridge to get at the Newcastle supporters. Police say the Newcastle supporters had booked in advance to call at Woodall's northbound service area, but the Millwall fans on their way back from Sunderland hadn't. About 30 Millwall supporters who weren't on the club's official coaches spotted the Newcastle fans across the motorway, ran across the footbridge and set upon them. 27-year-old Alan Price from Heworth in Gateshead was the most seriously hurt. Police think about six Millwall supporters who weren't on the official coaches beat him up and caused these injuries. A four-inch long gash on his neck, just an inch away from his jugular vein, and another smaller gash at the back, as well as cuts and bruises. At half past seven, we, uh, we stopped at the Woodall services near Sheffield on the M1. I went to the phone to ring my father to let him know what time I'd be home, because he's always worried about me when we go to uh, away matches, and especially to London. And I just put the phone down, I came out of the, foyer, uh, the, the telephone kiosk, and in the foyer they were fighting. They were shouting and people were kicking each other and all the rest of it. So I said, right, I'm getting away from here. And I ran away across the lawn. I got clear of the, the majority of them. There was one lad running alongside me. I thought he was from our coach. And I said to him, are you right, mate? And he said, no, I'm from Millwall. So he tripped me up and knocked me to the ground and started kicking me. I grabbed the leg that was kicking me and I managed to get my feet on his chest and uh, forced him to the ground. Uh, and then when, once, I, once I got free of him, I got up again, but I mustn't have got more than one or two steps before, uh, before I got hit from behind. And then there was maybe ten or a dozen people around me. One got on top of me to stop me getting away and the rest started kicking me, especially around the head. I felt the hand go from my wallet. I tried to stop them, but in the end, after a struggle, they got, they got the wallet. And once I got the wallet, that was it. They, they went away again. So I got up and I made towards the coach. Uh, I didn't realise I'd been uh, cut until I got onto the coach. I was just swathed in blood. And uh, of course, there was panic on the coach because the coach had been bricked. The windows had been knocked out. And once I put the windows out, they threw this car through the door. I said, hey, I'll go. And the card says, congratulations, you have just met Millwall. Alan, pictured here with Newcastle player David McCreary, has supported the Magpies since the age of 11. In fact, two years ago, he received a special supporters award. But he won't be so keen to follow United now. As much as I've been hurt, uh, I was that much worried for, for my dad. You know, my dad was on tenterhooks at the, the other end of the phone, 120 miles away. And I wouldn't let him go through that again. So you're not going to any away match? Well, I'll, I'll think twice about going anywhere, anywhere to anything, never mind football. What's your attitude then to these people? Well, what I'd like to know is uh, why Millwall are allowed to travel the country. Millwall has uh, probably the worst reputation of any football league club. Some of them played at home to Leeds last week and they made it an all-ticket match, so only certain Leeds fans with a good reputation would come. Middlesbrough went to Millwall a few weeks ago and they weren't even allowed to go. They weren't allowed to any Middlesbrough supporters to go to Millwall, as, as is the case for anybody going to Millwall now. But Millwall are still allowed to travel the country. I'd like to ask the Football League how they can manage to let them do that. It was Jane Bowes was reporting on the aftermath of the weekend's football violence. We contacted uh, Millwall Football Club to ask them about the incident, but nobody was available to comment. If you have any views on football hooliganism, any possible solutions or observations, uh, do please drop me a line for the right to mic spot. More news now from Wendy Gibson. And now that terrific knife attack on a Newcastle United supporter. It happened when rival fans from Newcastle and Millwall met by chance at a motorway service station in Yorkshire. The victim of the cowardly attack, Alan Price, who comes from Gateshead, was stabbed in the neck. And as he lay bleeding, he was passed a callous note from another Millwall thug. A report now from Lucy Meacock. 
The wound in Alan Price's neck narrowly missed his jugular vein. If it had been a fraction of an inch longer, he would have died. The 27-year-old geologist is one of Newcastle's most dedicated fans. He's been to 53 different clubs nationwide, but tighter security inside grounds offered him no protection against Millwall supporters at the M1 service station just south of Sheffield. And all of a sudden I was hit from behind, and maybe there was 10 or 12 um, Millwall hooligans there going at us from then. One, one of them got on my chest so I couldn't get up, and the rest of them started kicking me, especially around the head. And I felt the hand go from my wallet. I put my hand in my pocket to try and stop them, but after a struggle, they did get the wallet. But as soon as I knew I was clear, I ran, I ran back to the coach. It wasn't until I got on the coach that uh, I realised I'd be cut. Well, you know, I got, got me, me shirt and jumper and all the rest that were, were covered in blood. And uh, well, the people on the coach started panicking for us because they, they saw how badly uh, wounded I was. What do you think about Millwall supporters in general now? Well, Millwall, there may be some good one Millwall supporters. I don't know, there probably are. But uh, the, the, this idiot firm that goes around with them should be stopped and stopped now before anybody else gets hurt. You know, it won't take long before somebody else is killed. While Alan was being given first aid in a coach, the window was smashed and a card pushed through. It said, congratulations, you've just met Millwall. Now the fan who hasn't missed a home match for seven years vows he'll never go to another away match.